Hi everyone, Sandy here. It's time for Fun Friday here on my channel this week. I am still working on remaking this Route 66 album. This was my first album that I ever made from scratch. I am remaking it with the fun paper collection Homer's Diner from Country Craft Creations. Stay tuned. So for this week, for sure, we're going to work on this inside front cover. And then if we have time, we'll do the pocket here on the other side, on the back cover. So I don't remember, well, I do remember. I remember that I made this little album um, separate from this album. And I was going to have it tucked into a pocket and it kept flopping out. So I permanently attached it. So what I think for this new album I'm going to do is see about making a flap with a wide, so it'll be the front and the back, and then I'll add in other flaps. And I'm hoping that will work. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And I have started it off with one, the front flap, which I cut down to out of the artisan cardstock, six inches by seven and a quarter. I'm going to put the seven and a quarter in at the top. And I'm going to score at a half inch, that's to attach it into the cover, and then skip over three quarters, which would be one and a quarter. Because I'm going to see what that's going to do. And that should leave me with a six by six flap to go inside my cover. So it's going to have a wide section here. Now I need to add pattern paper to that. So let's move this out of the way. I want cut these because I thought I'd make pages out of them, but I like the Homer's Diner. So I'm going to go over here to my trimmer and I'm going to cut this five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. Five and seven eighths wide. by five and seven eighths tall. So that's gonna go right there. Now, if I wanted to double mat that, which would be pretty, I would cut this down smaller and cut me a pink piece. So let me grab a piece of that, see what have I got. Do I have any scraps that are big enough? Nope, not that one. Pay me no mind. Okay. I'm going to cut this, my colors, which is the um, mauve. Cut this down to five and seven eighths. About five and seven eighths. Because it just it occurred to me that I would like that to be matted because it is part of the cover inside. Five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths, which will go right here. Then I'm going to trim this down a little bit. So this will become, instead of five and seven eighths, be five and three quarters by five and three quarters right there. See how that looks. Okay, a little bit of pink around there, so let's mat this on. So what you're watching here is me, like, planning an album from scratch. <laughs> like, I'm looking at my old one. I have no notes on what I did. And I'm just going to look at it and recreate, recreate it somehow. And what I have learned over the years, hopefully, in planning and creating. So burnish that down, clean that glue off. Okay, now take my flap, which before was an album, mini album cover, but I'm just going to put it on there. And then, of course, we need something on the inside, which I'm not going to double mat that. I just want that little bit of pink to kind of border that and flip this over. I really like 
this, but I think I cut them down too small. So, I thought about using these for pages. Let's see what else I've got. I'll pause you for just a minute. Okay, so I've got this print. Five and seven eighths, both five and seven eighths, and that's going to go right there. I love that pattern. It's also got the diner menu, but I'm going to use the other side for right now. Okay, let's get that on on the inside here. And we're also going to have to pattern these um, three quarter inch spaces here. So I could just use the pink and that would make it stronger out of the mauve. And I don't think I'm going to put pattern paper. I think I'm just going to do the mauve and it's going to strengthen that. So I cut it just under the three quarters inch. So it would fit in there, but I made it five and seven eighths to match this. So right there like that. Flip it over and then we'll do it right there. So that's going to give it some strength there. Extra cardstock on there. And if you wanted to do pattern paper, you certainly could on top. Okay, so I'm just going to put it like this. Okay. Furnish that in. Now I'm going to take my cover and let me think about this. This is going to go here. I'm going to flatten this down. I'm going to put glue on the back side of this half inch. And I'm going to center it. Because this is six and this is seven. So we need it a half inch down. Half inch down. So just going to kind of eyeball it with the ruler about right there okay and just along the edge of the pink okay press that in so when it stands up it's going to be like that okay so that's the cover so far so far so good so that's where we're at <laughs> So now let me think about the rest of it. Okay, so for my pages or rather flaps that go inside the front cover, instead of making it like the original where it was regular pages, I decided to do accordion type pages. So I took one piece of the artisan cardstock and cut two pieces that are 12 inches by five and three quarters tall. Okay, so I cut these two pieces for my accordion pages. You have two that are uh, five and three quarters tall by 12 inches and you're going to score it at a half inch and then scoot over just an eighth of an inch so you're scoring at five eighths and then you're going to score at six and a quarter scoot over an eighth of an inch and score it at six and three eighths so you've got a little tiny eighth of an inch space in there now when I originally recorded this or made mine, I did not score like this, and I had to do it after these were attached in the book. So you're going to see that. You do yours like this. This is the corrected way. Now you're going to have to really fold to get that little space. What this does, it gives you just a little bit of a gusset or extra thickness in here, but it helps to make the pages fit within the area that I'm putting it in. So you kind of roll it and get it like that. It ends up making your finished page, uh, let me get my ruler, five and the five and three quarters by 
five and a half instead. That helps it to fit within the area of my cover. I had to do mine, like I said, after I put mine in. Now also score this half, uh, half inch here and your little eighth of an inch there. So I know that's a little tight, a little hard. If you wanted to cut your sections down, you could instead of doing that. Um, I'm not going to figure that out. This this is what you want. You want a finished, you want a, uh, a piece that has a half inch and then five and a half in between. So I guess I could figure the math for you. I don't know. But this, I like the extra little space in there. If I want to put a pocket or uh, some thicker embellishments, not a whole lot, but just a little bit like flowers or something. So you would do this, this away on both, both of your pieces here that we're making these, we're making accordion pages. I had thought about doing more than just the two here, but two, two is plenty in the book. So, so you got your little eighth of an inch like that, and then you do it here on the side. So we end up having just a half inch attachment here. So one of these is going to go in the book, and one of these is going to attach. So I'm going to attach this one here, just the half inch on the edge. So it's terribly confusing, I know. You're going to see me doing it different in the book. Let me move these out of the way. But I wanted to do, show you how to do it in case. So right here on the edge, you're just going to put... I may end up putting this in the book somewhere else, too. <laughs> Since I've got this extra one made. Put glue on just the half inch, not on that little eighth of an inch, but just on this half inch space there and then on the edge the cut edge opposite of the other half inch you're just going to line this up the half inch to the page and keep that little eighth of an inch space open okay just like that and you burnish that down can't find my bone folder i don't know what i did with it i've lost it during this video Okay, so once that's burnished down, then you have this folded up, and you can do it in accordion, like that, and then this will attach in the book. You're going to see me do that. So we have the five and a half inch pages now. Okay, so shall continue with the original video. Just wanted to add this in so that you can see how I did it. Show you. Okay, so I'm going to take one. Now I'm going to put it down over this one. It is shorter, and that's fine. And if I had planned this ahead of time, I would have stuck this underneath, but it's okay. I'm going to cover it with patterned paper anyway, a strip of paper. So I'm going to line this up right in here. So I'm going to put fold this back and put glue on this half inch. And we're going to glue it underneath this. I'm going to blow this back out of my way. So I'm going to glue it so that this half inch fits right here on this other half inch tab flap. And I'm just going to make sure it's kind of even here with this. Okay, so I've got it there. I'm going to open this back up like this. This half inch is going to glue onto this one so that they can fold in accordion style. So I'm just going to put glue on this half inch here. And then I'm going to glue it to this page right here on the end. Uh, let me put, I've got a piece of plastic or something here. I don't have one big enough. Try to keep it from getting on to the page, but I'm just going to hold it up and line it up. Make sure there's the fold is right along that cut line. Nice and even. 
Okay, so now we have this accordion type thing going on. So let's see how thick that is. So when I put pockets in things, I think that's going to be enough. I don't want to do a whole bunch. I'm going to cut me a half. These are, I had pre-cut these. These are five and a half. So I'm going to cut me off just under a half inch strip for right here. I know this is kind of weird. I'm kind of kind of off the cuff here, but here we go. <laughs> so over here on the side, I'm cutting this just under a tiny bit under half inch from the left side of this image that I want. Okay, so this is going to glue right in here. And yeah, it's a little bit shorter than that one. I think I'm going to do a piece of pink just because I think it'd make it better. So what did I say? That was five and a half. So I have a piece five and a half here. Yep, I'm going to cut this one down to just under the half inch. Sometimes you have to just piece things together to make them look the way you want them to. So that kind of covers up that unfinished for that shorter hinges. So I'm going to put this down. Right over that. So that finishes that up pretty good. A little space there. And then this guy with the car, I'm going to put it like here. So you're getting to see some of the thought process in trying to make these things work out the way we want them to. So I'm going to leave that right there. Make sure it's straight. Okay, burnish that down at five and a half. So I'm going to do five and a half wide with the car. And that just about that doesn't get the whole car. Welcome to Crazy Creating with Sandy. <laughs> All right, there we go. Cute. Okay. Now I might put a pattern paper there on this side. I don't know yet. So this is going to close up. And we're going to put the diner one here. So this is going to go right here. And I will put a pocket here. But I'm going to go ahead and put my pattern paper down. And then I'll add the pockets in. And I think I'm going to put a pocket or something over there on that side. I didn't have it on the original, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So this leaves about an eight all the way around. So this has a different border than I normally do. But I'm okay with that. And if I've got glue right here, I'll clean that off. So there's the diner. There. So see how this is going to come. Oh, dear. Those pages are too wide. Okay, let me see here. What did I do? Okay, I think they're going to work okay. Should have made them just a little bit smaller, but they're going to be okay. Because I'm going to put a closure piece right here. Okay, so I've made me a flat piece. I'll give you the measurements of this. 
I cut it to uh, two and a half wide by the six inches tall. And then I scored, like I did on the other one, I scored at a half inch and one and a quarter to get this space here, this three quarter inch space, a half inch attachment. I cut a pattern of the mauve, my colors, just under three quarters, two of them that are five and seven eighths tall, glued in that space. And this, I stub punched the corners, cut this piece to fit. Nothing on this side. This is going to be the magnet. Now then, I need the magnet under here. I don't want to build up anything. So I take this tool here. This is a Cricut tool for, you know, scraping things off your mats. Um, because I double matted this, I was able to, from the corner, very carefully go in here and each corner and open me up a space. So I'm going to put two plus magnets underneath as far in as I can get it right there. Whoop, sticking on me. I'm going to stick it in right there. So these magnets you should I should have put on first, but I didn't hadn't planned this so very well. And then this one's going to go in as far as I can get it where I lift it up right there. Now that I'm going to glue this back down, I've ripped it up in there with that magnet. Press that down. Do some cleanup. This is Fixin' It 101. <laughs> Get me some paper towel to wipe off. Excess glue. And really burnish that in corner down right there so that should fix it put off that edge right there so now we have a magnet stuck down under there and then the other magnets are going to go on the back of this piece so we need two minus it should be the right direction Put them on top of those magnets there. There we go. Now these will attach to this piece here, which will then wrap underneath and attach to this back side. And I will cover this with some pattern paper. And we're going to get this working because what I did here, now this is crazy, but I like it. I scored an eighth of an inch on this one too, which pushes it in like this. So see how it goes in with the car there. I don't know if you can see that. See that's got a it's got a score line there. And then that brings these pages in because they each have an eighth of an inch score added. So when that goes on there, that's going to keep them there. Okay. So I've got my magnets here. I'm going to pull the backing off. And the reason I'm not attaching this yet, I want this to have plenty of room to grab the magnets. I'm going to line it up, match here, the top and the bottom, and then press down. Okay, now I'm going to lift this up. Got my magnets here. Now I'm going to put patterned paper on this. So this would be, and now there's not going to be a cutting guide for this because... All of this isn't getting wrote down. <laughs> six inch. So six inch by one and a quarter. So I'm just going to cut it down a little bit for that. So let me grab some paper and I will cut some pattern paper. for. Okay, so I cut this to fit. Notch two corners. Stub punched, rather. And I wanted to use the black check. I just love the black check. Add some scraps of it. So this is making the back side. We're going to cover these magnets up with this. I'm going to put a little glue on the magnets too, just to reinforce around that area. Match this down. Okay. Get that on right. 
and burnish around the magnets. Make sure it sticks down. Okay, so now this attaches here, just like that. And then we're going to bring this down and under. So I need glue on the back of this half inch. Bring these pages up. It's supposed to stand like that. Okay, maybe it's going to work. We'll see. Got it right there. Right there. Now we can open this up very carefully. Move these out of the way. And then burnish this half inch down. Right where it needs to fit. And then I have this piece that I'm going to cut down that's going to fit into this. So I need just under five and a half by uh, six. Yeah, cut that down a little bit. Just under five and a half wide. This is six. I'll cut it to six to see how it looks. And I probably will trim that down a little more. Okay, I think that's going to work. Right there. So that goes underneath. So that finishes off inside there. Then we have those pages, and then we can start making some pockets. And then putting patterned paper on our pages. So this is going to go right here. And closes up. I'm going to put a piece, I think, there like that. So that fixes that up. So let's plan some pockets and the pattern pages, papers for the inside. And this will probably be all we'll do this week because I think I'm a nervous wreck. <laughs> anyway, it's going to come together and I'm going to love it. But yeah, sometimes remaking things when you don't have any notes or anything can be a challenge. So I'm going to pa uh, pause for right now and cut some uh, papers and things and for the pockets and come back and give you all that. So we already have the diner paper here on this first page, and I want to put a pocket there. So I've cut a piece of the cardstock that is six and a half by four and a half. Okay, we're going to score to make our pocket. So let's put the six and a half in at the top. We're going to score it a half inch, six turn and score it a half inch on just one bottom side. Then we're going to go ahead and cut across with the two lines join for our pocket. We're going to fold that up and burnish and see, make sure they're not overlapping here on the corners just to get rid of some of that bulk. I want a pretty good sturdy pocket on there. Now then, before I put it on, to make sure it fits. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna put my patterned paper on too, because these little pages are, so yeah, that's gonna fit pretty good right in there. Now you'll see it's going over the word diner and I don't want that. Now I took the, also had the eight by eight Homer's diner and I pulled out the page with this image because I wanted the smaller size for my diner. Well, let, me, let me show you. I'll lay it this here. So I cut it down to uh, five and a half, which gave me this right in here. And I wanted these items, so I fussy cut loosely around the top, but it's still with we going over diner. So I cut out 
between the top edge here and the bottom edge of the counter to shorten that up, okay? Makes sense to me. It may not make sense to you, but it made sense to me. So this bottom one's going to go right here, and it's the exact same size as the pocket. And that's what I wanted. I don't, I'm not going to make it smaller. I just want the whole image there. Okay. So where the folds are, this goes down at the bottom. Side to side. There we go. Right there, burnish that on. Now then this is going to fit here. And you'll see that I have some of that black. That's okay because I'm going to fussy cut around that. So let's glue this down that I've already loosely fussy cut out. Okay, and this goes flush above the bar stools like that. Now then take your scissors, take my smaller scissors, I think. And I'm just going to leave a little bit of black. I'm going to come straight across here. And I'm going to just leave a little bit of black above where I first see cut. So I'm just going to kind of do the same shape around all these diner food items. Just a tiny margin of the black. It kind of reinforces that. And then it's going to come across right here. So you do cut the top of your pocket. Now here at the top, we're going to miter cut this so that that hinge of the pocket doesn't show. Okay. So now we have the pocket. And it's going to pretty much fit down below the word diner. Because I'm going to put this right along the bottom edge of this page. So we're going to put glue right here on these half inch flaps here. We're going to line this up right along the bottom of our page. Make sure those sides stick down. Now, yes, when we put tags and whatever uh, photo mats, this one gets slid over a little bit, into our pocket, it's going to cover up the word diner, but that's okay. When we have stuff out, we can still see it. So I'm going to burnish really well. So there's my pocket right there. Pretty roomy pocket with the diner. So now I'm going to cut my other papers. I think that's probably all I'm going to put in here as far as a pocket. I'm just going to pattern the rest of the pages. And then we'll make a uh, pattern paper waterfall for this side over here. So I'm liking how that turned out. And then I'm planning. I think I'm going to make a pocket here. The other one, I just had a decorative piece. And I could do that. But I think a, a pocket here would be fun where you could tuck stuff in. So I'm going to pick out my papers for the rest of my pages, and then we'll put those all in. To make the pocket here beside the accordion album flap section, I guess that's what I'm calling it. I cut a piece of cardstock that is four and a half by what, four and a half by thought I made it longer than that. Four and a half by five and a quarter. Okay. Scored on the four and a half side at a half inch, four inch turn and score at a half inch. And then I'm going to miter cut with the two lines intersect there for the pocket. Fold those up and burnish. Okay, so we've got that, but I think I'm going to make a slant cut 
I'm going to cut from this point. Yeah, from this corner and just kind of cut across at an angle. And then I will open this up and finish cutting in that half inch section. Make sure it's nice and straight though. Mine looks a little wonky. <laughs> Recut. You might want to do it on your trimmer. Okay, I just wanted this angle in here like this. So I'm going to lay this on here. And I want to cut it also at an angle. To get my pattern paper on there. And then these guys are going to go down in there. Okay. So I'm just going to trim it slightly on the edge. Make it just a little bit smaller. Right there. A little bit on the other side. So get the pattern paper on there. Okay, let's cut. Okay, so it's kind of like that. If you want more of your black of your pocket shown, just trim a little more from the bottom and maybe from each side, just a tiny, tiny bit. I may do that with scissors. So I would just trim off a little bit. And then glue that on. It's got a very narrow black margin on there. Glue this to the front. Okay. Now then, let me see where I want it. Even with the pocket, I think. Okay, so I'm going to put glue on my half inch flaps on the back where they're folded down. And I'm going to line this up right here. So I'll line it up here even with this. And pretty straight here. Clean up any glue down in here. Okay, burnish that down. Then I'm going to take this other piece here. And I'm going to see if I can fit that in. And I'll have to trim it down a little bit from the top because I want this piece here. So I'm going to trim off the top a little bit. So I can fit this down in there. So I have to trim some more off. I want this on that angle. I'm going to have to trim down a little bit more. Still needs more cut off. Okay, that's about right. Then I'm going to trim just a tiny bit of each side. So it kind of fits down in that pocket, but not all the way. Because I want it to be like that. Okay, so I'm going to trim this with my trimmer to make it a little straighter. And then I'm going to decide, do I want to put it on black? Let's 
think I'm going to put it on a little bit of black margin. Very small. I'm going to glue it on and then cut it out. Here on this piece. Very tiny black margin. This can go flush with the pattern paper. And then this one you just barely along the edge. Okay, so that should look right, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's continuous if there's nothing in the pocket. So this goes on the back piece. There. Okay, I'm going to look at my original album and decide what I want, if there's any of it that I want to add in, because this is totally different. All of it is. <laughs> but I like it. So I know this is higher up, but that's fine. I just like the, the, the looks of it. Got a pocket there. If you want to put paper here and here, you can. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave it pink unless I decide to put a border strip of, you know, real skinny, um, like decorative that I will do later after I have scraps and things. I'll maybe look at the uh, different elements in the sheet. So inside here, I did add my pattern paper. So we have the pocket here. And then I cut paper to fit in here. Remember, I have this kind of funky here. Got the car and that. And this opens up like that. So I cut mine to fit mine. And yours will be different. Mine were five and a half wide by five and five eighths tall. So I patterned each one of these. This one needs to be glued down a little more right there. Didn't get enough glue on it. Let me clean my glue bottle off. There, we need some glue. We don't want it hanging. Okay. So that's the accordion, and I'm going to decide if I want to add some more pockets or anything in it, and then decide what I'm going to put in my pockets. So I'll probably do those off camera. So for this week, I think that's all. Like I said, I'll have to decide if I'm going to put a little tiny strip of something, you know, across the bottom. And I will show you next week whatever I've decided on. Um, but I think that for this week, that's probably enough. <laughs> enough torture. <laughs> I hope to do better next week with um, what I plan for you. And I will. So that's this week's Fun Friday. Even though I had to struggle with it and figuring it out, it is still fun. I really enjoy remaking this album. So I hope you'll join me next week for Fun Friday. And uh, I'll show you what I finished on this one. And we'll definitely make the pocket, which will be real simple for this. I think I'm going to put some patterned paper here and then do the pocket. And then maybe we'll get our first page done next week. So thanks, everybody. Uh, be sure to check out countrycraftcreations.com. This is their exclusive paper line called Homer's Diner. Uh, it's a fun one. It has been um, out of stock. It is her own paper collection. She will reprint and have it back in there. So keep checking. Don't, don't get discouraged. It's not one that's going, gone forever. It will be back. It's very popular. Uh, so do check for Homer's Diner. Like I said, I did use some of the 8x8, so you might want to pick up an 8x8 and a 12x12. And join me next week and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you know when my next video is up by clicking the bell when you subscribe. And uh, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.